I'm going to show you how to install a PCL6 driver on Windows 8 for a Rico copier. So first thing we want to go to Rico's website. Let's start with Rico.com. Once you get to their site, you're going to go to the download section. Next page, click Americas. Now here we want to make sure to uncheck brochure and manuals and then we're going to type our model number here. I'm currently using a 4502. Make sure you type in your model number and then search. Scroll down, you're going to see a couple links. Click on the one that pertains to your system. And then we'll get our operating system list. I'm currently using Windows 8, 64-bit. And then we'll get our driver list. We've got the PCL6 driver at the very top. Click the download link to the far right. We're going to save that to our desktop just so we know where it is. And then once it's done downloading, you'll see this pop up here. I'm going to go over here and double click that file. Run the application. Go ahead and click Next. Agree to the terms and conditions. And then we're going to browse back to our desktop just so we know where the file is once it extracts. So Desktop, OK. And then Next. Once the extraction is done, click OK, and here's our extracted files. Now with Windows 8, we want to go into our devices and printers, so you're going to hold down your Windows key on your keyboard and then the letter R. That will bring up our run command. In here, type in Control Printers, hit OK, and here's our printers. So we're going to click the Add Printer button. Windows 8 automatically searches the network for any connected copiers. We're actually going to skip this and go to the printer that I want isn't listed. Next page, select Add a Printer using a TCP IP address or host name. And click Next. Device type, we're going to change to TCP slash IP device. And then host name or IP, we're going to type the IP address of your copier. Make sure we uncheck the Query the Printer option. then click Next. On the next screen, click on Have Disk. And then we're going to browse back to our desktop location again to the file we extracted earlier. Go down and click until you find the OEM setup. Click Open and OK. Now here on the left-hand side, we want to make sure to select Rico. And then in the list, pick the model that you're working with. And then click Next. Here you can name the copier whatever you want. Typically we just leave them as is. And then next, Windows will then install the printer for us. Once that's complete, uh, make sure do not share this printer as selected unless you're installing this on a server. And you're going to share the driver out to your other computers. Click next. And then you can set it as your default or not as you choose. We're going to skip printing a test page for just a moment. Go ahead and click Finish. And here's our installed copier. Now next, we're going to go ahead and right-click on that. And go to Printer Properties. This will bring up our Properties window. And in here, we're going to click on Preferences. And here we have all of our different options for the copier. First thing we want to change is the color slash black and white. We're going to change that to just black and white so every print doesn't come out using color. And then we're going to go to Detailed Settings. And then under Menu, we're going to click on Edit. Here we're going to change two-sided from Long Edge Bind to Off. This will keep you from getting two-sided prints every time you print. Once you do that, click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and print a test page. If the test page comes out, you've installed everything correctly. You are good to go.